Hello everyone, my name is Sabrina, I am from Algeria and I'm going to let you know the languages that I speak. So I speak Russian, French, Arabic, English, Spanish and Chinese. So let me tell you now how I learned these languages before even turning 30. Starting with the first one, the first language that I learned was Russian. I was born in Russia, my mother is from Russia, so it was the only language that I spoke until I was five years old. Then I started learning French because my parents and I were about to move to Algeria where the two languages that are spoken are French and Arabic and learning Arabic not in Algeria was way too hard according to my parents so I started le learning French. I only learned how to read and write and I didn't really speak it until we moved to Algeria. So here goes me being six years old and going to school and not understanding anything of what my classmates say, of what my teachers say and so I would say it was actually a blessing to be able to learn French and Arabic by being in the environment where everybody only spoke those two languages. So I started learning French and Arabic when I was in school and I started speaking those languages as well when I was six. The good thing that happened to me was actually that my mom and dad kept on talking to me in Russian at home so I never forgot Russian even though nobody around me spoke Russian anymore because we were in Algeria. Then I guess when I was around 10 or 11 years old came English and it was just a subject that we had at school. It was actually one of my favorite ones because since I was learning languages since I was a kid, it was quite easy for me. I had good grades, I had fun with English, so it was always one of my favorite times at school during the week. Um, I kept on learning English until I was, I guess, 20. I kept on having classes, I had private tutors to just practice the speaking because as everyone just learning by the book, I could read, of course, I could write, yeah, but if I watched a movie in English, I would understand nothing and be completely lost. So since my parents always wanted me to travel abroad, uh, they hired a private tutor to really help me to start speaking. And that private tutor that I always hold in my memory very dearly, she was the one to tell me just watch movies, watch TV shows. And I remember back then I was watching Gossip Girl and all those like teenage movies. But the advice that she gave me was just watch it in English. At the beginning, she allowed me to have subtitles in French. So if I did not understand something, I could still read it. But after actually only a few weeks, she asked me to drop the subtitles in French and put them in English. So if I had a problem with understanding what people were saying, I could at least read what was happening and kind of understand the story. And another good trick that I was doing with her is that I had just an hour class with her every week and every week I had to tell her with my own words what happened in the movie that I was watching, so the TV show. So every week um, I didn't really prepare by writing or anything but I would watch the episode the day before we had the class and then the day after when she comes I had to tell her so yesterday this is what happened, This that character did that, that character did this and then another good thing that we were doing is that she wanted me just to tell her what happened at school and at first this was me talking but she really encouraged me just to speak and never use any of the French or Arabic words only English and even if my sentence at the beginning was full of uh, uh, with time um, it got better and I actually got to just be able to tell her like what happened in my week and funny enough the first time that I was in an environment where I could only use English to communicate was when I moved to Beijing in China and that was the first time I was 21 and because I didn't speak Chinese back then I had started to learn it but I had like only a few hours per week I knew how to write I knew how to read the characters that we learned obviously I did not know how to communicate with people however English was the language that I was going back to to talk to my international friends to talk to my teachers to talk to just people outside and that's when I actually started to speak English so it hasn't been a while that I actually do speak English but it's a language that helped me a lot now going backwards a little bit in my language learning journey when I was still in high school I had the chance to choose an LV3 that's what we called it back in high school so a third language to learn 
And I chose Spanish because it's one of my favorite languages. I just love how it sounds. I love the culture. I love the all the Latin American culture. It's one of my dream travels actually because I love the dance, I love the food, I love the people. So learning Spanish was also a big dream for me. And I also started just learning it at school. Then I did one year at university just to learn like Spanish language and culture, uh, but then I changed the major, but I did that one year. Um, I always, uh, whenever there is a movie that is in Spanish, or it's a Spanish movie or a Latin American movie, I always watch it in Spanish. When I read uh, authors such as Cervantes, I read it in Spanish. If I want to listen to a podcast and I know that this person is, for example, from Mexico, I listen to it in Spanish. So it's a way for me to always keep up with that language. Also for the music, obviously, like I love listening to Latin music, so whenever I can, I just also read the lyrics to be able to always like keep that language in my mind. That's one of the things I do with this language. I try to also practice when I meet people from Spain or from Latin America or like ask them to just speak in front of me in Spanish because I just love how it sounds. So Spanish, yeah, that was my fifth language and going to the yeah sixth one. <laughs> um, it was Chinese. So when I graduated from high school, I had no idea what to do with my life as a normal 18 year old and because learning languages was always something that was easy and fun for me I decided to do a major that was uh, modern applied languages where we had to choose a couple of languages so I chose English and Chinese and that's when I started to learn Chinese I would say those first three years of learning Chinese were kind of useless if I may say so because I was learning Chinese in Paris Obviously, it could have gone right, however, I think right now, looking back, that it wasn't the best method of teaching because our books were from China, so they were English-Chinese. Our teacher was from China, but the way he explained things to us was in French. <laughs> so every time we had to actually like learn some words and everything, they did not make the effort to only speak Chinese for, with us, so our brain like didn't have any choice no we always had the choice we always just spoke french like our classmates and everyone we just spoke french we could speak french to the teachers so learning a language without really having to immerse yourself uh even if you're not in the country right like just in the classroom i felt that it was not the best way and so that's why after three whole years of doing my bachelor's degree after that i moved to china because that was my goal actually when i chose that university that there was an exchange program that I could go to China. I went to China and I was like, not full of confidence, but half. <laughs> I was like, well, it's been three years that I'm learning Chinese. I'll be fine. I arrive at the airport. I can say nothing. I don't even know how to ask where is the bus that will take me to my university. I could say literally nothing. And so this is when I started speaking English because I literally had no other choice. Um, and then obviously by being, uh, I was in Beijing, um, I took Chinese classes. My university provided not only the program that I was doing, but for any foreigner who wanted to take Chinese classes. And I really focused on that because I really wanted to learn the language. Uh, Chinese was definitely the hardest language that I had to learn. Everything is complicated. The sounds, I would say the pronunciation is not that complicated, but the tones, oh my God, like it took me so long to just differentiate some of them because for me at the beginning, it all sounded the same, literally. I was like, what, why, why are you even having like these differentiated? For me, it's the same. Um, then also the fact that there's no alphabet. So if you do not know how to write something, you just do not know and you cannot read it. Let's say now I don't speak German, but the alphabet is still the Latin alphabet. So I would be able to read with a horrible accent, obviously, but I would still read it. And Chinese mm -mm, doesn't work. You, you have to learn the characters. You have to learn something that is called the keys. So if maybe you see that, you have the chance that it might be pronounced that way, but it might be pronounced another way as well. So there were so many different components to learn that it was very tricky. And speaking the language, uh, I think what helped me the most obviously was to be in China and overcome my fear to speak, even though my vocabulary wasn't that rich at the moment. Just speaking with uh, like the Chinese cab driver, speaking with the Chinese person who's selling you your fruits at the market, just speak with anyone anytime and don't be shy that the person in front will not understand you 